Chances are, yeah, if you don't know, I am Vietnamese. Well, almost all Vietnamese. Uh. Both of my parents were born in Vietnam, so that's close as it gets. And in this video, I'll be talking about why I hate being Vietnamese. And you gotta hear me out before you get all crazy and butthurt. But who knows about that culture, though? That culture. You see, one of the things being in a traditional Vietnamese household is that the women are expected to do all the housework and all the chores where guys come off as the breadwinners. So guys are known to work and make the money. That's it. Women, on the other hand, are supposed to treat their husbands like a king. You know, do all the cooking, do all the cleaning, and right when the guy gets home from work, does not touch a thing, the woman is supposed to cook everything, get all the food ready, and plate it like she is serving a king. And that's one of the things that bugs me about being Vietnamese, is that chances are if you go to Vietnam, or you look in any traditional Vietnamese household, the guy um, don't even know how to cook eggs, or like simple things like top ramen because most of their lives, you know, their mom did everything. They're, they were so used to getting fed and not even learning the basic skills of learning how to cook for themselves. And that's one of the reasons why I started to cook and I know how to cook. To a certain extent though, I ain't no chef though. <laughs> Patriarchal, non-paternalistic way of seeing the household where women are not supposed to talk back, guys, you know, are always right, and you're supposed to, you know, serve this man of the house, and never wrong, and no matter how bad or the things that he says, you still have to get him food. And that's one of the things I don't like about being Vietnamese. The second reason why, shoot, it's a bit too bright. The second reason why I hate being Vietnamese is what I like to call and label it as saving face. You know, when your family friends come over, your aunts or uncles, you're, oh, chào bác, chào cô, cô khỏe không? And you put on the smile. But the truth is, your family probably hates them and they talk a lot of crap behind their backs. Because Asians are known to be passive aggressive and not very confrontational. Instead of saying something to your face, they say it behind your back. And this is common throughout, you know, families, f family friends, and anyone that's like of, of Vietnamese descent. Because I guess in Asian households, there isn't much of like, saying what's, you know, really in here instead of, you know, just put it on a smile, everything's okay. And that's the one really things I hated because it affected things like my own communication skills, not being able to say what I really want to say and holding a lot of resentment. God damn, it's so bright up in here. Because the truth is, you know, when my parents went to anyone's house and they took me with them, is that, you know, my dad and mom seem to be like the most happiest people, the most outgoing and talking and getting to know people. But the truth is when they were at home coming from their job, it's like they didn't really take time to know their kids. But for some weird reason, whenever they were out and, you know, when other people were looking at them, they were the most talkative and most outgoing people that spent time to get to know other people's kids. And that's the one of the things that really bugged me. So my last and final reason why I hate being Vietnamese is something a lot of, whether you're in Vietnam and still are in Vietnam, or you're a Viet Gu and you're Vietnamese and you're born in, you know, Australia, the US, Canada, UK, wherever, there's a lot of a common theme that I get, whether that's through my messages or my YouTube comments, is that it's what your parents want versus what you really want. Because I get a lot of comments being like, I really want to do this with my career, but my parents want me to do this, so I end up doing what my parents want, but deep down I'm not happy and I'm freaking miserable. And I can attest to that. That was 
the same in my shoes for the longest time and there's still a little chip on my shoulder where my parents are still to this day being like you should go get a normal job you should get a job with a good salary save up for that you know that pension have that good plan going on for the your future and save up but that's not really what makes me happy doing a job that's sustainable that's content with other people's views so they look good in their eyes and they can brag to their kids about oh my son or daughter does this and that and there's this common theme of like this different disconnect because their parents taught their parents that oh this is the way to survive this is what you need this is the job that you want to get and with the new generation and the internet, there's this big disconnect of, wait, I can do jobs that, that are like this and like this, but my parents still want me to do jobs like this. So there's that big gap between like the older generation and the newer generation. And an example of this is when I went back to Vietnam. <laughs> of how, you know, the older generation has different views on like tattoos and piercings. But the, the new generation in Vietnam, I've seen people have more tattoos than me, piercings, and listen to like hip hop and rap in Vietnam. So there's this changing infrastructure and culture. And it's one of the reasons why I made this channel. Reasons why I wanna talk about things that no one else talks about, that are too afraid to talk about. And sometimes it's okay to listen to your gut and go against what your parents want you to do. Because, yes, I get it in their sense, in their eyes, it's like, yes, you know, they came from war, they came from broken family, they came from poverty, and they want what's the best for you. But their best is in their eyes, not your eyes. You only know what you want to do. They don't. And you can hate your parents for the next two or three years, doing what you really want to do or you can hate them for the rest of your life until they pass away because you did what they wanted to do for you. <clears throat> so those are my reasons why I hate being Vietnamese. And even though I look Chinese and Japanese, you know, I got nothing but love for Vietnam and because you know, my family's there. That's where my roots come from. That's affected my upbringing and who I am as a person. And one of the reasons why, you know, like I said, talk about things that no one else talks about and breaking certain traditions and patterns that are instilled in this newer generation where you're born with the internet and there's so much new advanced technology that your parents don't really understand that yeah I can make money doing something I love versus yeah I can make money doing something I'm horrible at and I'm gonna end up being miserable for the rest of my life crying all the time you know and I'm nothing but love for Vietnam I ain't no self-hating Asian you know I love being Asian it makes me me it stills my hard work ethic, and who knows? Vietnam 2018, I'll see you there, maybe. Deuces.